Hello and welcome to the session on Amazon Recognition. This video is part of the AWS Certified AIML Bootcamp series. On behalf of the Cloud Expert Solution team, I would like to thank you for joining us and exploring this video. In today's session, we'll start with diving deep into Amazon Recognition key features including Amazon recognition use cases and real-life scenarios where Amazon recognition can be a game changer. We'll then log into AWS Management Console and we'll review Amazon recognition in action. In this demo, we'll cover image and video analysis, facial analysis, celebrity recognition, including custom celebrity detection, text in images, custom labels, and many other Amazon recognition features. Whether you are new to AWS or looking to enhance your skill, this session is for you. Amazon Recognition is a powerful image and video analysis service provided by AWS. It uses deep learning to identify objects, people, text, scene, and activities in images and videos, making it a versatile tool for various applications. Let's take a closer look at what Amazon Recognition can do. In terms of object and scene detection, Amazon Recognition can identify thousands of objects and scene in images and videos. This include common objects like car, furniture, and animals. Also, complex scenes like cityscapes, natural landscapes, and so on. It can also detect faces in image and videos. It can analyze facial attributes such as age range, gender, emotions, and also identify facial landmarks like eyes, nose, mouth. We'll see that in action. Amazon Recognition can also recognize celebrities in images and videos, making it useful for media and entertainment applications like creating media catalog or annotative video, Maybe your organization CEO has given a speech in some public ceremony and he is not very famous like Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk. However, you want to annotate all the video segments where your organization CEO appears. You can recognize your organization CEO as custom celebrity and Amazon recognition will automatically annotate all the scenes or the video fragments where he or she appeared. Amazon Recognition can also detect and extract text from images, which is very useful for applications like vehicle license plate recognition. In terms of video analysis, Amazon Recognition can analyze videos to detect activities, track people, and recognize objects and scenes over time. It provides features like gunshot detection, object tracking, activity detection, and so on. Amazon Recognition can detect inappropriate content in images and videos, such as explicit or suggestive content. A practical use case could be video censoring. In our demo, we'll see a censoring use case with an image file. In terms of face comparison, Amazon Recognition can compare faces in images to determine if they are of the same person which is useful for identity verification at the airline departure gates or at the immigration counters. In terms of use cases, Amazon recognition can be used in various scenarios like security and surveillance. Here, it can enhance security systems by detecting and recognizing face and objects in real times. It can also monitor public spaces or suspicious activities. We can use facial recognition to find missing persons or identify suspects. We can also monitor public events for any security threat. In terms of media and entertainment use cases, it can automate content moderation to filter out any inappropriate content. It can also recognize celebrities in media content for indexing and search purposes. It can also analyze video content to detect scenes and activities. In terms of healthcare, it can assist in medical imaging by detecting and analyzing any specific patterns and anomalies in the medical studies. 
it can also use facial analysis for patient monitoring and also for emotion detection. In terms of automotive use cases, it can analyze traffic footage to identify vehicle, road signals, pedestrian for self-driving cars. It can also enhance driver safety by monitoring driver attention and detecting drowsiness of a driver. It can also monitor city traffic, including traffic density analysis. Last but not least, for retail and e-commerce use case, it can use to improve customer experience by analyzing product images and detecting logos. Amazon recognition can also be used for facial analysis for personalized shopping experience. It can also be used for theft prevention or store surveillance purposes. Now we will see Amazon recognition in action. If your AWS account is less than 12 months old and you are covered by AWS free tier, then you won't spend any money to perform the demo with us. If you want to follow along, please pause the video here, log into AWS management console and join us back. We will wait for you. I have logged into AWS management console and I am at console home. If you have used Amazon recognition in recent past, you will be able to locate Amazon recognition under recently visited services. If you don't see Amazon recognition under recently visited services, don't worry. Just write recognition in the service search option and here you go. Just click it. You will be landed to Amazon recognition landing page. For this demo, we are going to cover one by one scenarios from the left hand side and you can see all the available options here. Now for your actual use cases, you can either download the SDK if you want to invoke programmatically or you can go to developer resources and also you can review pricing and the getting started guide for more details. We'll start with the image part first. Let's click label detection from the left hand side under demos. This is a sample image given by AWS where it is a city landscape and it can detect the objects like cars, person, skateboard or even building and here are the results. You can see the neighborhood, it's a city, the road, street, urban, person, car, transportation, vehicle, all those objects it has detected with a confidence score. That means how confident the model is for a city and it is saying it is a city and the confidence score is 99.99%. Now we are going to upload our own image. To upload our image, you can choose the option upload or drag and drop. And from here, I'll select a sample image. This is not a city area, rather some freeway or expressway. The image contains human, different types of cars, road and some green landscape. It has detected all the objects. Road with a confidence score of 99.9%, car with a confidence score of 95.1%. It also detected person, although they are very small in size and so on. If we expand the other options, we can see attributes like van, outdoor, highway, people are walking here and also truck. So it has detected all the objects and now here is a request and the response. In response, you will get all the attributes with its confidence code. We'll next navigate to image properties. Under image properties, it can detect all the colors, dominant colors, image quality, background color, contrast, foreground properties, and these are all related to images. You can see for this sample image, the dominant colors, it has detected RGB 70, 130, 180. These are the dominant color, and you can see the dominant color in this image. In terms of brightness, it is 64.31%. In terms of sharpness, contrast, even if you go to foreground properties, here are the dominant color for the foreground properties. If we change the image, obviously those patterns will change. And now you can see the dominant color has changed. Also the brightness, sharpness, contrast, everything changed, including 
foreground properties. You can upload your own image and play around with the different properties. Next, we'll go to image moderation. And in this case, we are going to review inappropriate content if you want to mask them. Let's take the sample image where a woman is wearing bikini. In Western country, it's common. However, in some countries with conservative culture, it is considered as inappropriate or nudity. Using image moderation, we can mask or blur any images with inappropriate content by default when the image will open. To see the content, user needs to explicitly click the content. The result section shows the level of moderation. It has detected swimwear or underwear. And in level 2 detection, it has detected a female is wearing swimwear or underwear. It also detected non-explicit nudity or intimate parts and kissing. Although this picture does not have any intimate scene, but the woman with bikini is considered as non-explicit nudity. You can use this feature based on your organization use case and you can play around with your sample images. Next, we'll do a facial analysis and we'll take a sample image with that image, it is going to detect all those facial attributes of a person. It is detected, it looks like a face and confidence score is 99.99%. It appears to be female. That means with a picture, it can detect the gender of that picture, the age range, whether the person is appear to be happy, sad, the sentiment, whether he or she is wearing glasses, whether the glass is sunglass, eyes are open although the eyes are not visible then also it is saying the eyes are open that means it can detect those components mouth is open does not have a mustache because it is an image of a female they don't have mustache and it is detected correctly next we'll go to facial comparison where you can compare two faces in this example i have two different images of andy jc andy jc is current amazon ceo and you can see one with his maybe younger ages and this could be his current picture and now it is detecting this both the images are from the same person that means even if the image was captured decades back it will be able to compare the faces and and it can also verify that image that is why if you remember when you discuss it can be used to identify a person suspect finding missing people and also at the airlines gate or even at the immigration counter. Normally in immigration counter, they compare with the image with a passport or passport card. And maybe the image is taken a couple of years back. And sometimes human faces varies widely. Maybe when you took that picture, that time you had hair. And now in your current state, maybe that hair has gone. It will be able to detect both the images even if the images were captured years apart. Now let's play around and instead of the reference image, now let's provide the image of Jeff Bezos. And now it is saying they are not the same images. We'll try some more. I am going to upload image of Elon Musk here. And now it is saying no, these are not the same person. Here if I again upload Elon Musk image, although both the image same, it is going to compare and it is going to say yes both the image belongs to same person. Next is face liveness. That means for that you need to enable your camera and with your camera, you will be able to check that my current setup, my camera is not that good. That is why I'm not going to enable my camera, but if you want to, you can play around. Next, celebrity recognition. And you can see, this is the image of Jeff Bezos, who was the previous Amazon CEO and it has detected that it is image of Jeff Bezos. Now let's play around. Let's try to detect using Elon Musk. Here you go. It has correctly detected that this is the image of Elon Musk. Next we'll review text in images. And one use case could be your passport. Now let's upload a sample passport here. You can see it has detected all the text in images, we, the people of United States, and you can see it is a passport. It has detected all the text available here. 
you can upload different images. If you remember, we talk about the vehicle plate registration. Also, it has detected the vehicle plate number. You can see it has detected the vehicle number is J389NLT. By that way, we will be able to use this feature in multiple traffic cases or even in toll gates. Next is PPE detection. In today's world, if you are using iPhone or even Androids, you see that there is a feature it can detect faces even if, if you are wearing face mask or even a hat or a cap. These are all personal protective equipment or PPE. Now, if the image has PPE, normally it changes the face and it will be able to detect if the person is using personal protective equipment or PPE or not. In our sample, Yes, the person is using face cover. Let's copy hand cover and head cover. And see, it has detected hand cover. It has detected face cover. It has detected head cover. Everything it has detected. We can try with a different image. And here you can see all the persons, they are wearing face cover, head cover. However, they don't have hand cover. That is why it has detected all those personal protective equipments in an image. That was all about the image part. Now let's move to video part. And first we are going to use the stored video. This is a sample video where we have conversations between Jeff Bezos and AWS CTO Warner Vogel. You can see that it has detected all those objects. That means who are the people present in this video? Also, the celebrities, yes, they are celebrities. Also, the moderated level, no moderation level detected because this video does not have any inappropriate content. However, if your use case is to detect that person in that particular video frame, now let's try. In throughout this video, you will see Jeff Bezos. That is why when I click Jeff Bezos, you will see where Jeff Bezos' face is visible. Now let's play this Being video. Misinformed, or let's just say incompletely informed, you better start working on changing your business model. Uh, absolutely. Um, so, 70 30, well, one thing that I, uh, within the AWS, we've always seen is that we flip the 70 30 around. You can see throughout the video, wherever Jay Bezos was visible, it has highlighted. Similarly, if we take Warner Vogel, you can see Warner Vogel is appeared second half of the video. Now let's play again. Being misinformed, or let's just say incompletely informed, you better start working on changing your business model. Uh, absolutely. Um, so 70 30, well, one thing that I, uh, within the AWS we've always seen is that we flipped the 70 30 around. This analysis was on a stored video. However, you can also perform the same analysis on a streaming video. If you have live cameras, there you can perform the same analysis in a streaming video. Now let's review one section in a streaming video where this is the video of a doorbell and we are analyzing the video. Let's play the sound and let's play the video. In this video, it has detected a person, it has detected a package and detected at 600 millisecond. So if you see in this fragment, it has detected the person and the package. Similarly, this is another one small video. Let's review this. And you can see it has again detected a person in this video. These are all live stream, maybe from the security camera. And it is very useful for detecting any intruder or any person moving to your premises. That wraps up this module. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more update, and feel free to drop any question or feedback in the comments. We would love to hear from you. I hope this session helped you gain a deeper understanding and brought you one step closer to your learning goals. 
Thank you very much for watching and learning with us at Cloud Expert Solution. See you in the next module.